God. <laughs> Everything's always so chaotic. Why does this thing make a noise? Okay. Hey. Hey now. Carl the Madman here. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. <sighs> Chaos. Chaos. Welcome to the all new. The fat and the foul mouth is no longer. This is now. Carl the Madman. Prime time. Every week I've got an open guest host spot there. Anybody's free to join. There's a link down below in the description box. It should work. I tried it earlier. It looked like it was going to work. Anyways, this is the all new Carl the Madman. Prime time live. This week I got a bunch of clips from uh, a Snapchat place. Uh, spotlights. The spotlights on the Snapchats. I got a bunch of clips from there. We're going to do the game time giveaway. I uh, got a couple of breaking news stories as well. But like I said, if somebody wants to join, click the click, clicky clicky linky thingy and uh, come on in and join the show. Come on in and join the show. Uh, anyways, let's explain the game time giveaway. All right, so this is for the entire month of November. There's four, 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 four Mondays, so it's going to run for four weeks. It's going to be a monthly giveaway, at least this month. Still going to be family feud. Still going to be the family feud, but uh, but you're gonna you're gonna build your points. You're gonna build. So, anyways, the little questiony thing is going to pop up on the screen. Um, you'll have 33 seconds to type in as many answers as you can. Um, whoever gets closest or the top answer first gets a bonus point. And then after that, everybody, including that person, if, uh, say, the first uh, survey says the first answer is worth uh, 20 points, uh, and then you also happen to get the third and the fourth one that's worth, like, five and two or something. So that means your total this week would be 25, 27 points. So that would carry over into next week and the next week and the next week. Whichever the champion, who's ever the leader, who's ever has the most points at the end of November, November 27th will be the last one. That will be the winner of the game time giveaway monthly prize. I don't have uh, that, uh, I don't have the prize lined up yet. But it'll be a little bit grander scale than the previous giveaways. The new uh, showtime here at 8.33 uh, doesn't work good for the, the 5150, the Bob. So, like I said, the host guest host spot is gapingly wide open. It's gapingly, gapingly wide open. And if you want to join the show, if there's anybody here watching the show, you want to join the show, click that little linky thing. <laughs> I think it's working. I don't know. Let me, I can try it on this. I can try it here, probably. Let me try it. I just want to see. I want to, I want to see. Oh, not that fucking button. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That button. Oh, look. I could join the show myself from my phone right here if I wanted to. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try joining right now. I'm joining. joining. Oh, look. There. I popped up. I popped up. Add. Oh. Add. Add. Yeah, I think I pushed add. And it's probably going to be really fucked up because it's probably going to be a delay and stuff. And you can probably hear me speaking twice, maybe. Okay, this is way too much. Can't handle this. Too much. Too much. Yeah. Okay, you're out of here. You're out of here, buddy. Uh, how do I get uh, Leave. Leave. Leave live stream. That guy was too much. <laughs> I didn't like that guy. Holy smokes. Whew. So, my uh, little village here, this little village I live in, we have a chamber of commerce here. And, uh, you know, they, they're, they're pretty proud. They like to list things that they're proud of. And uh, they just released a new one. This little village is first in this category, in this village, 
there are more people that you would not want to give mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to than any other community of comparable size. <laughs> Don't everybody laugh at once. Don't everybody laugh at once. Uh-oh. Look on the screen turned darker color up there. What happened? Oh, Sleaze the Shell's here. Sleaze the Shell. Sleaze the Shell's here. Okay, don't say that. Come on. Come on. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. I think I pushed add, but I don't see Sleaze the Shell there anywhere. Um, are you there? Are you there, Shalisa? Did I turn the volume down too much? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, shit, now I kicked that thing. God damn it. Chaos. Oh, the volume's turned up. Okay, I'm not sure why Shalisha's not there. I'm pretty sure I clicked join. Unless I fucked up and hit something incorrectly. You know, that could have happened. Because, because, you know, I tend to have technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. What happens if I push down here now? Push. 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 Well, I'm not sure why there's nobody there. And I'm also... Oh, guest left. Guest left, it says. The guest left. Salisha Shell was almost here. <laughs> she was almost here for that really bad joke. Uh, that, don't worry, though. I got more. I've got more. Hey, gerbs. Gerbs, I wish you were here for this one because you're a fellow BCite. So our friends to the West in Alberta, they've come up with a new slogan in Alberta. And uh, their slogan now is, we're number one, alphabetically. <laughs> alphabetically, you get Alberta. Uh, Alphabetically in Canada, they're number one alphabetically. <laughs> I got one more. If you uh, spend any time in this little village here, you know, as a as a tourist, if you're a tourist and you come to this little town, one of the things that you're likely going to do is uh, go you know, tour the stern wheeler. We have this old uh, wooden stern wheeler that's dry docked, but you can, you know, you can go check it out. And uh, one of the things that, that I like to do, you know, when there's lots of tourists in town is, you know, to go over there and, uh, you know, just sort of to feel out and see, see what people are thinking, you know, that come to this little village. And one thing that I kept hearing, like, over and over and over again, I just kept hearing them say over and over and over and over again, is, uh, oh, I get it. They're having an E.T. lookalike contest. <sighs> One other thing, by the way, about this, the new show here, we're recording it live right now. So there's going to be two versions of this show. There's going to be the live version, and there's going to be the replay version. So. I've got multiple cameras recording this show from multiple angles. When it's all done, you know, I'm going to chew it all down, mush it all together, edit it, and then release it as a edited show. So Carl the Madman Primetime will be an edited version of Carl the Madman Primetime Live. So the replay will be chipped and chopped and chopped and chipped. So you want to catch the whole experience because it's a, it's, it's, you know, it's a special treat to be on my show. It's so if you, <laughs> if you want to catch the whole thing, you got to watch live the edited version, you know, there'll be stuff I'm going to cut out probably quite a bit of stuff. Like when my brain goes, um, Numb, numb, numb. That's the word. Now, when my brain goes numb, I'll probably, you know, I'll edit out that part. The edited version will be much more streamlined, streamlined, 
stream. I'm looking over that way because there's a camera over there. It's also a recording show. So but that show recording that camera, that camera over there recording, that camera up there recording. And that's it at this point. It's just the two cameras. Anyways, I've chatted for like a fucking long time. We haven't even watched a clip yet. So shall we? Shall we? Do you guys want to watch a clip? Shall we watch a clip? We'll watch a couple of clips. Then it'll be time for the game time giveaway. Week one. Week, week one game time giveaway. Okay, here we go. So this is from the Snapchats. This is the spotlight spotlight videos from the Snapchats. So it's kind of like the Tiki Talk thing and uh, Instagram uh, whatever's. Uh, it's, but this is uh, from the, the, the Snapchat. The Snapchat. The Snapchat. Okay, I'm going to shut up. Let's watch a video. Oldest animal in the world. Which one is the oldest? Oldest animal in the world. Oldest animal in the world. I know you, know, you are now starting thinking outside the box, but it is very simple. The oldest animal in the world is zebra. The oldest animal in the world is zebra. Why zebra? Because zebra is still in black and white. <laughs> still in uh, black and white. <laughs> Did you guys like that one? Did you guys like that one? Remember, remind it for everybody. Co-host spot is open every week. You can be a part of this prime time live broadcast. Uh, you just need to click that little linky thing. Click the little linky thing. If nobody does, I might just do it myself, and then I'll have a third camera angle. Maybe. Yeah, let's watch another one. Let's watch another one. The zebra. Is that like um an an American way to say zebra? Because I know I've always said zebra. But that chap there said zebra. So just curious. Just curious. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Let's roll. What do you guys want? Uh, let me get a fraud table tete. And then uh, let me get a Trenta Pinkity Drinkity. Trenta Pinkity 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 Pin
like that one. <laughs> Expect me to work in a fucking bar. If you're having a bad day, just remember, there's somebody out there pulling the door that says push. Fucking dumbasses. Fucking dumbasses. Fucking dumbasses. Here we go, folks. It's time for the game time giveaway. It's time. It's time. Time has come. This week's, this month's, week one of the game time giveaway. So, the question's going to pop up. You have 32 seconds. Get as many answers in as you can. Get as many answers in as you can before the time runs out. Let's go. Game time giveaway. Name a Halloween costume adults wear to look sexy. Go! 33 seconds. Go, 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 go. Get those answers in. Get them in. Go, 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 go. Sexy Halloween outfits. Sexy. Sexy Halloween outfits. Get them in there. Get them in there. Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. <laughs> vampire. There we go. Andrew's got one in. Vampire. Anybody else? Germs. Come on, Germs. Alicia. Gray. Come on. Nurse. Andrews. Andrews. Andrews walking away with him here, folks. He's got two in already. Uh, he's got a nun. Sexy nun. Eh? Sexy. Sexy nun. Sexy nun. Sexy nun. That's awesome. Very nurse made devil. Oh, you threw three in at three in at once. There we go. Whew. I think you might be in the lead, Gray. I think you might be in the lead. Next week, though, we will have, you know, the, before the show, before the game time giveaway starts, we'll have a running tally of uh, you know, who's uh, who's in the lead. So we can go from there. And uh, you know. If you miss a week or two, that doesn't mean you're going to be out of it. Because any of you who know the family feud, this is the family feud. Any of you who know the family feud know that sometimes they throw a question in there that only has like two answers. And you get that top one. That can be worth, you know, 90 some points alone. So you're not necessarily out of it if you missed a week. There we go. So that's 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 this week's game time giveaway. Check this out. This is some this is some bizarre bizarre news. Bizarre news. Shit, trying to push play. Why oh, did Okay. <laughs> Stupid technology. Creepy dolls head blocks Bristol sewer as water company issues Halloween warning. A water company has warned customers not to flush rubbish down the toilet after a doll's head caused a spooky pre-Halloween blockage. Workers investigating the block's toilet had a fright when they found the head of a child's doll, complete with gruesome hair made up of flushed wet wipes. The creepy figure was found in a Bristol sewer by a Wessex water crew. To make matters worse, it could not be shifted with rods and jetting equipment, and the team eventually had to smash it and pull it out on the end of a hose. Smash it, stop. The company is now reminding customers not to put anything down the toilet unless it is one of the three Ps. <laughs> Flushing anything other than the three Ps, paper, poo, and pee, down the loo can block pipes and lead to sewage flooding your home. Hey, Violet, don't do that. Fuck's sakes. Quit it! Stop! You're eating the floor, you dumbass. Come here. Violet, come here. Come here. Come on. Come on, you're on the you were on the poster. You should be on the show. Come on, come on, come on, you know, over here. Come on, 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 get up here, get up, get up here. Okay, turn, turn, turn this way. There you go. All right, there you go. Why made the show? There she is. Come here, buddy. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Say hi. There we go. Imagine the people who found that fucking thing. Like, oh my god, there's a child's skull blocking the toilet. No, it's just a doll's head with wet wipe hair. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's, a, there's a potential new world record. Potential new world record. Here it is. This is like, this is current. This is current stuff. That's current news. And this one coming up is breaking news. This is current stuff as well. Current, current, current news here. Breaking, breaking current news. Be breaking. I, I put that What's in. the world record for the longest zucchini? Well, you are about to find out. 
The Guinness World Record for the longest zucchini is 8 feet 33 inches, and the current record holder lives in Niagara Falls. But Thorold's Henry D'Angelo has grown past that. Now, I'll just let it keep growing. This uh, had been growing since probably about June. So it just continued to go until about a couple weeks ago. Right now, I'm just hanging on to it. I've applied to the Guinness World Book of Records. D'Angelo is still waiting to hear back from the folks at Guinness World Records. But after he's crowned the Zucchini King, he may tackle some other giant veggies. Uh, maybe I'll look into something else to see what else I could grow that's uh, sort of unique or exotic. <laughs> uh, eight foot long. It's not official yet, though. Whoops, get this thing back in place. It's not official yet, though. He's applied. She, that should be, that's breaking news. That should be the new world record for the longest zucchini. And I was right here in British Columbia. Uh, holy shit, Dana's here. All the way from Thailand. Idea Studio, Bangkok. Dana, thanks for joining the show, man. You're just a little bit too late. You could have got in on the giveaway. Although, holy fuck, I wouldn't want to have to send you a prize all the way over there. That'd be expensive. Actually, I'm going to have to put that in the rules that it's for North American contestants only. Thanks for dropping by, Dana. Well, this show's getting close to being over. I do have a couple more clips for you from the Snapchat. The Snapchat spotlight videos. Okay, bye. Time to get down. Time to go. Whoa, crazy dog. Let's watch a couple more clips. Technical, technical difficulties. Oh, What's that, cousin? Actually looks like fun. I might try that. I wonder if fifty one fifty the Bob's ever tried that. We'll have to ask him if he if he ever manages to get on the show again. Uh, I'm gonna ask. Him. I'm gonna ask him if he's ever done that before. Quickly, so I died, Mister Shades. Are we saying that two plus two? If you say it's four, that's racist. I mean, that sounds like we may be mischaracterizing it. What uh, if you can quickly sum it up? No, that's not mischaracterizing it at all. It's that math is basically racist under this ideology because it says there is no such thing as an objective reality. So four might not be the right number. Two plus two might actually equal five. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is this world? What have they done to us? What did they do to us? <laughs> two plus two might actually equal five. I think that uh, person should read uh, 1984. <laughs> you can join this show. If you're on a mobile device, you got to be on a mobile device. There's a link. It's there every week. Nobody joined me this week. Shalisa Shell tried to join me. But there's a link down there where you just need to you know, click that little linky thing and you can pop right on here. You'd be like co-hosting. <laughs> okay, I think I got one or two more clips. One more for sure. What do you call a really fat psychic? What, a fortune teller? <laughs> <laughs> fortune. The man fortune. who invented Balcro died. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> a polar bear walks into a bar and says to a bartender, I'll have a rum and coke. The bartender says, what's with the pause? He says, no, <laughs> 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 couldn't get it out. I tripped over my wife's bra. It was a booby trap. <laughs> <laughs> you can't deliver it like that. That's unfair. <laughs> Why does the president take so long to say each sentence? Why? He's just biding his time. <laughs> <laughs> My friend fell in the river in Egypt last week. He swears by it, but he's in denial. Is on the first day, God there. created the dog, and he told the dog, sit in the front porch, bark at everybody that goes by, I'll give you 20 years to live. The dog said, that's a long time and a lot of barking. How about I take 10 years and give you 10 back? God said, okay. Then on the second day, he created the monkey, and he told the monkey, entertain the people, do tricks, make them laugh, I'll give you 20 years. 
The monkey said, that's a long time to be entertaining a bunch of upstanding primates. How about you give me 10 years, I'll give you 10 back. God said, okay. On the third day, he created the cow. He said, go into the fields, labor under the hot sun. Give the man milk, calves, meat. Give you 60 years to live. The cow said, that's way too long to work that hard. How about you give me 20 years, I'll give you 40 back. God said, okay. So on the fourth day, God created man. He told man, go play, be merry, be happy. I'll give you 20 years. Man said, that's not enough time. How about you give me back the 40 years for the cow, 10 for the monkey, 10 for the dog? God said, fine. And now you know why the first 20 years of our life we play, the next 40 we work like cows in the field, the next 10 we entertain our grandkids like a bunch of monkeys, and for the last 10 we sit on the porch and bark at everybody. <laughs> Pretty accurate. Pretty. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it, folks. That's, I always struggle with this part. You guys noticed? Those of you who watch every week, you know, have you noticed how I always struggle at the ending? Like closing the show? I don't know how to close the show. I don't know how to close the show properly. Oh, shit. Pull it. Pause. No, 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 no. That's old stuff. Oh, last week was pretty fun. Caitlin and I had a lot of fun. Uh, okay, well, okay. Okay, here we go. I'll just say it bluntly. The show is fucking over. The show is fucking over. I hope to see all of you. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in this week. Because believe it or not, I actually put a lot of effort into this show. I put a lot of effort into this show. I really do. It's a, you know, I, uh, if you've been following my channel for a long time, you've probably figured out that I really enjoy enjoy creating content, editing, you know, all this other fun stuff that us content creators on the YouTube do. And the last, you know, several months, it's been lacking for me. But, you know, I haven't been going camping, been, you know, just too busy, things going on, just no time. So that's why the fat and foul mouth started. So that, you know, I had you know, something to look forward to every week, something to prep for, something to do. Uh, opportunity to chat with my friends. And that was back in the old days, fat in the foul mouth. Now that the show has gotten so much larger, now we're prime time. Now we're Carl the Madman, prime time, live every Monday, 8.33 p.m. Pacific time. Be there or be square. See you later. That's a lot.